playing an auto-tune guitar is no fun. No matter how well you play, it just doesn't sound good. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar without an electronic tuner in an easy-to-follow, step-by-step fashion. Let's do this. Hi there, I'm Thomas Michaud from Real Guitar Success, where I help you learn guitar and most importantly, love the journey. If you're new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that little bell so you don't miss anything. Most of the time, I use an electronic tuner to tune my guitar, but sometimes I just don't have one handy. And I remember even once I got to a gig and I was talking to the host and about five minutes before I went on, I ran to tune up my guitar and my electronic tuner was dead, no battery. <laughs> so sometimes it's really helpful to be able to tune without an electronic tuner. Also, it's a useful process to learn to tune without a tuner because it helps train your ears to distinguish fine differences in pitch. Tuning your guitar involves loosening and tightening the string. When you loosen the string with the machine head, you make the pitch lower. When you tighten the string, wind the other way, it's higher. We're going to start with the A string right here for an example. So this is higher, hear the pitch going higher, and this is lower. I'm tuning the other way, higher and lower. So the method we're going to use to tune involves matching the pitch with one other string, and each string as we go along will match to the string before it. So let me start with the E string. Now you're probably going to wonder, how about tuning this E string? I'll get to that later, but for now, just assume this low E is in tune. We're going to count up five frets. One, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth fret on the low E string, also the sixth string. I have a little dot here, and most acoustic guitars have that dot, so that's how you know you're on the right place. So when I play this note, I press down and play the note, that gives me the same note that should be the fifth string. It's not. Can you hear that? This note right now is lower than this one on the sixth string. Higher, lower. Higher, lower. Now I'm going to adjust that fifth string and try and get closer. Doesn't have to be perfect first time around. So let's see. I changed it higher now. Lower higher. Now let me check. I'm going to press on the 5th fret of the 6th string and press the 5th string again. It's still lower. Can you hear that? L lower. Six, whoop, <laughs> there we go. Higher. <laughs> I have to press on the 5th fret. I'm going to try again. Raise it up a little bit. Oh, very close now. Still a little bit lower. This is where it gets hard. And it takes practice. It's a little bit lower still. So partly as I get closer, I can remember a little bit what this other note sounds like. A little teeny bit lower. Getting closer. That sounds about the same to me little teeny bit lower. Okay, this is often called, by the way, the fifth fret method because you're playing on the fifth fret here. So now I've tuned this fifth string to the sixth string. You can tell it depends on me being able to distinguish the pitches. And for most people, that takes practice. This is not something that you're just normally born with. There are a few people that are, but most people are not. It takes practice, listening, and little by little distinguishing the pitch. So you would do the same thing going through all the strings until you get to the first. But like many patterns, there's an exception. On the sixth string, I press the fifth fret. The fifth string, I press the fifth fret the fourth string, but when we get to the third, you have to lower it down to the fourth fret to make it work. And then when you get to the second string, back to the fifth fret. So the exception is the third string you press on the fourth fret. Now, let's talk about that low E string. This low E string, to be able to tune to other people, you're going to need to tune that E to one of their notes. A lot of people will 
tuned to a piano, or if you're playing with other guitar players, uh, to a guitar, so that you're all in tune together. You need somewhere to start. For this reason, I prefer to use an electronic tuner when I'm playing with other people, so we're all in tune to the same tuner. But this method works quite well when you're just playing by yourself and you need your guitar to be in tune to itself. Now, before we end for today, I want to let you have a chance to tune to my low E string so that you can give this a try. Go ahead and listen to this note. That's my low E. Tune your guitar to that low E. Got it? Listen. One more time. So that's it for the fifth fret method of tuning the guitar. I'm wondering what your favorite way to tune the guitar is. Let us know in the comments below. And read other people's comments. We can all learn from each other. And don't forget, this is all about loving your guitar learning journey. Life is short. Give it your best. Bye for now.